You've got to be a bit of a, I suppose, a mad fellow to be in the front row. There's some good characters, and especially with Chrono Senior, he's pretty dry sense of humour, so there's some good jokes being thrown around, but no, it's good to be back with the boys, mate, and looking forward to the to the first game. Just release that and fall into my hands, you ready? The two things they're looking at is that when the front rows come down, they must come down to the left of their opponent, well that makes sense because that's where the hole is, uh, and the second thing is no member of the front row can put his head on the shoulder or neck of his opponent when they crouch and bind, so there has to be a wee gap. What that means is teams are going to have to learn that the locks in number eight and Lucy's uh, can't lean anymore. They can't push the front row forward on the bind like they've been doing. So there's going to be, a, for some teams, a big adjustment. For other teams, a small adjustment. I think for us it's a small adjustment. How did that trigger go, yes or no? What you're trying to nail is, is that eight people are in control of their own balance and during the process of the bind, they're not rocking forward. Because if they rock forward, my, my, my front row boys end up with their head on their opponent and that would be a penalty. So we're just working our way through that now. I'm sure by the time we hit Argentina we'll have it all lined out. Set. It's a new law so just got to make sure we embrace it and get on with it. And I suppose it's about the, the team that kind of embraces it the quickest and like the old days like there's a bit of a, a gap so yeah it's about me just kind of willing the hit and getting my foot back as fast as possible so um, kind of playing around and you've got to adapt and, and learn as you go.